Nanocad Plus 20 is the capable DWG editor. It already has 400,000 users in areas like architectural and mechanical design and general drafting. Architects appreciate that it handles IFC files from BIM software, and mechanical engineers like that it imports 3D point clouds from LIDAR files. It's one of the very few CAD programs to handle both. You can change the interface to make it look the way you like. It comes with several APIs for writing custom software. Best of all, the permanent license can be as much as one-third the price of other CAD programs. Its hardware requirements are modest enough to run on pretty much any personal computer since Windows 7. Now version 20 makes NanoCAD Plus even easier to use. Earlier versions of NanoCAD showed you distances and angles right at the cursor, but now there's something new. When you press the down cursor key, you get the options of the command, such as arc, center, and so on. When you select an entity, like a polyline, and pause your cursor over one of the grips, you see a new menu that gives you options on what to do with the grip, such as convert this arc into a line. Another new feature in NanoCAD Plus 20 is that you can undo actions after you've saved the drawing. And over here on the Quick Access Toolbar, the Undo button becomes far more powerful. When you click it, and you see the list of actions that have preceded here, as you put your cursor over each one, it previews what the Undo will be in the drawing area. So let me select this one. And now when we go to Redo, the same thing happens. We can preview the redos. Drawing Compare is a function that lets you see differences between two similar looking drawings. So here I have a floor plan, and over here I have a similar but significantly different floor plan. Some of the things are different, some are the same. So the new Drawing Compare function, which is under in the Manage tab, you select the two files. You can choose to assign colors to see the differences. When you click Compare, NanoCAD Plus shows you this. So all the green is of one drawing, the gray is of both drawings, and then you can also turn things off. So I'm going to turn off the shared items, and suddenly you can see more easily that there is a red line from the other drawing. NanoCAD Plus 20 now lets you save SHX text as comments. The way to do that is to choose the internal PDF plotter, click Setup, and then make sure SHX text annotations is turned on. Click the preview to make sure it looks OK and then click plot. When it's done then Acrobat pops up and you can see that all SHX text is indeed a comment. The nice thing about that you can now make edits as comments. When you select a 3D object it now turns transparent so you can more easily see what you're working with. Also new in NanoCAD Plus 20 is the bounding prism. To prepare to show you how it works, I've drawn a polyline around part of this imported IFC model. I start the bounding prism command, and down here in the command prompt, I will choose New, and then Polyline. NanoCAD prompts me to select a closed polyline. I'm going to select this one. There you can see the volumetric outline of the bounding prism. I click Exit just to see what it looks like. I'm still inside the command. And you can see that that part of the building has now been isolated from the rest of the model. To change the bounding prism, I click Modify. And then you can see these polyline grips, which I can use just like a regular polyline. Click Exit to see the effect. And now the building has been partially cut. Now when I click Modify, I'm going to choose this arrow and drag it down a bit and that lowers the entire bounding prism. And now when I click Exit, the top part of the building is gone.